All right, Amber, I know you are very excited about Will Muse in the studio. I, I know you're am. excited. You're very excited. And I don't think people understand how big of a fan you really, really are. So I've spent a lot of my time the last... Um, I want to say a couple of months. I'm actually back in college now. So there's a lot of Eastern Kentucky University students that know who you are wow. now because I spend a lot of my time playing your music wow. and study sessions. <laughs> Will, I really appreciate you being here. Will Muse, ladies and gentlemen, is in the studio. Will, thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you all so much for having me. Will, we first met back in the summer. We met yes. on Midday Kentucky. Yes. Uh, you were... Don't, I think you were just promoting your second release yes, of a song, yes, which was Spend, Spend yes. which, is, which is absolutely my favorite song. Oh my I actually, um, my husband and I are going to renew our vows, and I think oh, that wow. honestly might be the song that we play for our first dance. Wow. <laughs> it was Spend. I, th I thought it was, um, I thought that I Could Change was your favorite song. No, it's spin. Is it spin? I know all the words. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Will. Well, you know that you got a fan right here beside of you, so she's fan girling. She's fan girling out. And you went on midday today as well. Yes, I was. How was that? It was a great experience. Yes, so I talked a little bit about my newest single and some things I have coming up, and also my merchandise that is coming out. All right, Will. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, for those of the audience that don't really know much about you. Tell us when you first started performing music. Yes, yeah, so um, really I think that, you know, my parents, they really influenced me with a lot of very cool classic music like Guns N' Roses and Elton John and Aerosmith and a lot of awesome stuff like that. And I just really took a, a loving to um, a love to music. So at the age of five, I got into guitar lessons, started playing some little small recitals and stuff. And then at the age of seven, or actually no, six, I was um, playing guitar or uh, yeah, piano at the age of six. Yeah. Do you have a favorite instrument that you like to play? Um, probably piano. You like to tickle the ivory a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I can play a little piano, Amber. Would you believe me if I told you that, that I, I can play piano? I think you have played that same Evanescent song for me every time we pass a piano. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only song that I know how to I play. <laughs> but, uh, Will, so your first single, I Can Change, it yes. reached nearly 2 million views on YouTube. What is it about that song? Uh, Facebook. You, yeah, or is it Facebook? Yes, on Facebook. So what is it about that song that you think connected with the audience. Well, I think a lot of people can kind of identify um, to it since it just has such a universal theme. You know, I kind of wrote that song after I evaluated just a lot of the terrible things and turmoil that was affecting our world. And I just kind of came to the conclusion that um, everybody can change, you know, their situation that they're in or something unfortunate that's affecting them. If they can just have a group of people or even just one person behind them, I guess, um, helping them and supporting them. And Will, how old are you? 17. Just Seven. 17. You just had a birthday, didn't yes. you? Yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. That sounded like a 35-year-old answer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> wise beyond your years. That's great. So, that's amazing. So, right off the bat, boom. Everybody loves your two, almost nearly 2 million views. Yes. You released your sophomore uh, single, or yes, uh, the spin. second song, and it was called Spin, which yes. is Amber's favorite. It was uh, released with Radio Disney. Yes, and you got on there with Radio Disney. They yes. promoted that. Had to feel good to yes. sing that song. And the video was recorded in Los Angeles? The video for Spin was in Nashville. Okay. Yes. And uh, that female in there, was that your girlfriend? No, just a friend. Okay, paid actress. Because yes. <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of fans are... Always hit you up wondering if you're single, if you're dating anybody. <laughs> but being 16, you don't really need to worry about that right now. Yeah. 17, you, yeah. you seriously, you don't. So any crazy fan interactions? Because you got a large social media following. Well, I have, I guess, some, I guess, kind of crazy, um, I guess, some negative comments and some things like that. But what I really like to focus on is a lot of the positive and uplifting fan mm -hmm. interactions. And I guess one thing in particular that I can remember is when I was playing um, I Can Change live. Actually, it was, uh, maybe it was, could have been actually the first time that I ever played that live. There was a woman in the audience who came up to me and she was crying because she was so touched, I guess, just with the message and everything behind the song. So it's moments like that that I really think a lot of and cherish. Do you get negative 
interaction from fans as well. Occasionally, yeah. do you? I, how do you deal with that it's at such a young age? Because honestly, I'm on TV and radio, and I get it too. I mean, when somebody says something about me, I have a hard time. Amber can vouch for me. I have a hard time dealing with just negativity in general. Yeah. When people say anything negative, how do you deal with being so? I just try not to think about it too much. I'll just kind of laugh it off usually. It's not too big of a deal to me. <laughs> Absolutely. So we just played your Hallelujah song on the air. Uh, this is your Christmas single. Yes. And uh, a, a lot of people have done renditions of this song. It's by yes. Jeff Buckley originally and somebody else. Who's the other? Uh, Leonard, uh, Leonard Cohen. Cohen. Okay. Uh, well, did they both write it? Is that what it is? Well, Leonard Cohen, I think he wrote the uh, original version, and Jeff Buckley kind of adapted it for to tell the Christmas story. I guess, you know, over the years, just since I really, I guess, you know, over the years, just since I really first got into singing, I was always just playing that song in church, and I just really loved it, and I just fell in love with the message, you know, how it told the Christmas story in such a great and unique way. So I guess it was kind of that, and I've just been very familiar with it, and I've always loved the song and played it for years and years. So, the new year is approaching. Yes. 2020 is almost here. New Year's is upon us. You got any New Year's plans? Well, I have a lot of, I have several new um, singles that are going to be coming out and several videos to go along with all of those singles. And also, I have a, a tour that's potentially in the Oh, works. so you got a big oh, year in 2020. Of, wow. Yes. A tour? Yes, but possibly. Okay. I will be there front row. I promise. <laughs> well, I will be there front row. She's not lying. She's not. I'm not. <laughs> so, are, or, so it's not been developed yet, but it's not yet. in the it's process. It's in the works. It's yes. in the works. Okay, are we possibly looking at a just a local state tour? Are we looking to spread out across Probably the... spreading out. That's what you need bit. to yeah. do because you're popular not just in the state. You're all over. People listen to your music because you're in Nashville. You're in L.A. People are listening to your music all over the country. Yes. So, yeah, you need to get out there and do a... A nation, a nationwide tour. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, a big, big year ahead. So, you got your new single. Let's talk about that. Yes. Um, Where did you get your inspiration to write this song? What's it about? Well, I think um, it's just kind of a really fun, upbeat, groovy kind of retro vibe, I guess, behind the song. And, you know, just kind of what it's about is, you know, how love and faith and things like that can, I guess, shape your life. Okay, and we're going to be playing, we'll actually end the show with that song. Yes. Uh, but uh, before we go, we'll, I want to talk some things other than music. You have a foundation, yes. and it's a foundation that you're pretty passionate about. Yes. Tell us about that foundation that you're involved in. Well, I am the founder of Music for Wishes, which is a, a local Make-A-Wish Foundation fundraiser in my hometown of Somerset, Kentucky. And in 2017, I really, um, I guess I was looking for a way to combine my passion for music with my passion for helping people, and I saw a local need for a um, Make-A-Wish Foundation fundraiser. So, you know, we really kind of started working working very hard to develop that, and now the event has raised over $85,000 for local children in the Somerset area. You know what I was doing at 16 years old? I was just... <laughs> I know what you were doing at 16 years old. <laughs> That's amazing. And I keep saying you're 16, but you're 17 now. 17, yeah. <laughs> One year away. One year away from the real world, they say. Okay, so... And Will, you also got some swag. Not, I mean, you do got swag just in general, but you've got a whole new world wardrobe of just Will Muse merchandise. Yes. Yes. So yes. what all can we get? So we developed a line. It's actually a very high quality stuff. The sweatshirts and the t-shirts are very soft, uh, very premium materials. So I have um, I have logo t-shirts, some um, hoodies. I have um, hats and stickers, and you can also buy an autographed picture if that's something that you're interested in. And also we're doing a, a limited run of um, Shape of Your Faith, my newest single um, t-shirts and hoodies. Okay. Amber? I already know what I want for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you got your pocket bug out? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Let everybody know, Will, where we can uh, get more information about you. Go ahead and plug all your social media accounts. I know you got the willmuse.com. Yes, uh, it's willmusemusic.com. That's where you can kind of, it's like a hub for everything. You can keep every, see everything up to date. And you can find my merchandise on there on willmusemusic.com. And then also Facebook and Instagram at willmusemusic. I love it. Amber, anything you want to say to Will as you got him? Because you know next year when he comes in, because you're coming back next year, he's going to be. <laughs> 
famous. <laughs> I do. And he's, you know. and he's gonna have like 20, 30, 40, 50 million followers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you might not get to talk to him as easy as what you're talking to him now. So you got your boy in front of you. I just, I really want to say thank you for spreading positivity and love. I think with your generation, it's something that has been lacking in the musical industry for, for quite some time now. So to see someone at your age spreading just joy to people, because your music is very joyful and it, it really does put you know, put things in perspective that it's all about love and togetherness. And you've really done a really good job at conveying that to not only your audience, but you instantly made a fan out of me. So just thank you for, thank you for doing what you do. Thank you very much for the support. You're a very talented man. Well, I'm curious though. What is, do you know the age range of your audience? What is your biggest demographic? Is it younger women? Is it older women? Because, I mean, mean, Amber's not no spring chicken. (laughs) Yeah, a lot of older people, I I think. I think you're just, you're you're lost lost on your ears. You really, like, you know, I was trying to explain to my husband who I really thought you kind of reminded me of, and you very much remind me of Jacob Dylan. I don't know if you know who that is. It's Bob Dylan's son. Um, He was in a band in the the early 90s. Come out with a couple of songs, so you should definitely, that's that's who you remind me a lot of. He, He put a lot of good messages out there and and i get that from you so it's easy very easy to listen to your music when i need like a little a little push to keep going his his music folks is on all platforms check him out check out his social media will muse thank you so much for coming into the studio thank you i really appreciate it and do i get a promise that you are going no matter how famous you get because this is Going across the air, and you're going to be on record. <laughs> Do I get a promise that you're going to come back and see us? Yes. Okay. Yes, we okay, heard good. it. And we're, I'll, I will hold you definitely accountable to that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to close the show with some Will Muse music, Shape of Your Faith. It's his new single. Check it out. I got that right. Yes. Good deal. All right, Will Muse, thank you for joining us. Amber, thank you for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to Off the Cuff. This is Adam Banks. We'll see you next week from 4 to 5. Have a great week. I'm hoping you can save me With every curve And every laugh And every word And every time And it's in the
Of your face. 